Welcome. Today we're going to be taking a look at Between Two Castles of Mad King Ludwig. This is a three to seven player tile placement set collection game where you'd take the role of master builder, helping to build two castles for Mad King Ludwig. You'll be helping the player to your left with one castle and the player to your right with the other. You will be placing tiles, collecting bonuses, trying to become the best master builder. How do you become the best master builder and win the game? By having the most points for your lowest scoring castle at the end of the game. Now that we know what the winning condition is, let's take a look at the components set up and how a round and turn work in Between Two Castles of Mad King Ludwig. Now let's take a look at the components. You have regular room tiles. You have 21 of each food, living, utility, outdoor, sleeping, corridor, and downstairs rooms. You have specialty room tiles which are fountains, grand foyers, and towers. You have your royal attendants. You have your throne rooms, your castle tokens, your player aids, bonus cards, and finally, a score pad. Now let's take a look at the setup. We're going to be setting this up for a three-player game, which takes five steps. Step one, you are going to shuffle the throne room tiles and place one between each pair of players. Then you will place a wooden castle token below each throne room. Step two, you are going to give one player aid to each player. Step three, place your specialty room tray in the middle of the play area. Step four, you are going to place your regular room tile tray in the middle of the play area with the regular room tiles face down. Each compartment in this tray holds exactly nine regular room tiles. Make sure that each stack is shuffled. And finally, step number five. Shuffle the bonus cards and place them face down in their designated location in the smaller tray. Now let's take a look at a round and a turn. A game consists of two rounds. Each round, every player will draw nine face down regular room tiles from the tray. Then they will follow three steps simultaneously for each turn. Step one, each player is going to choose two regular room tiles secretly and pass the remaining tiles to the left. In round two, you will pass the tiles to the right. Step two, you are going to reveal the tiles. Step three, you are going to discuss and place a tile in each of your castles. Then you will repeat turns until there is one tile left when passing. When this occurs, discard that tile and move to round two, where you will repeat the process from round one except pass the tiles to the right. Then after you are down to one tile in round two, the game ends and castles are scored. When building your castle, you must remember this is a side view of your castle. The throne room is considered the ground floor. All tiles above the ground floor must have a tile below. There are no height or width limits. All tiles must share a side with the existing castle. The type of tile, placement rules, scoring, and bonus benefits for each tile type is located on the player aid. The player aid has the type, the placement for each type of tile, the scoring for each type of tile, along with the bonus when a castle has three of the same type of tile. Specialty room tiles have their placements 
to the right on the player aid as well. Blue tiles can't have a tile above them. Now let's look at the bonus benefits for three of the same type of tile. For food tiles, you get to draw five regular room tiles and place one in the castle. For three living tiles, you get to place one attendant tile in the throne room. For three utility tiles, you get to draw three bonus cards and keep one for the castle. For three outdoor tiles, you get to place a fountain specialty tile in the castle. For three sleeping tiles, you get to place a tower specialty tile in the castle. For three corridor tiles, you get to place a grand foyer specialty tile in the castle. For three downstairs tiles, you get to choose any other bonus. Five of any tile type allows you to choose and place any specialty room tile in the castle. After you finish round two, you would go into the final scoring where you score each castle. When all castles are scored, the player with the most points for their lowest scoring castle is the best master builder and wins between two castles of Mad King Ludwig.